गुड इवनिंग एवरीबॉडी एंड वंस अगेन वेलकम टू द वीडियो दिस इज इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद माय सर्वरलेस फ्रेमवर्क लैब्स दिस इज गोना बी लैब नंबर 17 अ हैंड्स ऑन सेशन हाउ टू डिप्लॉय किनीसिस डेटा स्ट्रीम विद लामडा एज अ कंज्यूमर नाउ for people who do not know what kinesis is i yesterday i just released a video where we read a beautiful article by mr james peswick this is a hands on session which means this is a labs he has all the code everything step by step so let's get started lab number 17 let's get started all right i'm on my screen and by the way all the labs are organized on my getup section in a very nice way you have the title you have the youtube video and the lab code so this would be number 17 right everything all the steps are provided i strongly encourage you to try this out with me let's get started with the video so here is the project uh, structure so first i would like to walk you over that um here you can see this is called lab 17 here we are trying to establish essentially using kinesis data stream and fire a consumer which is a lambda function okay The first thing that you will observe is a serverless.yml file where we write our infrastructure code. Let's review that. It should be very easy. I'm giving it a service name, okay? And uh, let me expand my window. I'm saying .env is true, which means I want to load my value from an environment variable. I don't want to hard code my name. I want to make it generalized. I'm defining my runtime, you know, for my Python. I'm using 3.7 memory, timeout, region, uh, name. architecture x series 6 i'm providing tags so that i could uh, essentially tag my so essentially tags will allow you to monitor your resources with a particular key and a value right so you could monitor them i have all the tags here now let's look at the cloud formation um, sort of cloud formation syntax right you could use that in the serverless so here i'm saying a resource object which means i want to create something so i'm saying type as aws kinesis stream so i am telling that hey please create a kinesis data stream for me okay properties name then we have a dollar and a curly braces where we say env dot stream name so we have a, a folder called env and don't worry i'll delete the credentials so not not to worry so env dot stream name means uh, inject this value into the my yml file because remember uh, you don't want to hard code values right you want to make it generalized retention period how long do i want to retain the data in my stream you could provide that value again that is coming from a uh, environment variable okay stream details on demand there are two modes right provision and on on demand so i'm using on demand so i don't have to specify the shard number automatically kinesis will take care of that okay now on the top section i have a function and a lambda the this is called i'm defining my lambda function the name uh, the, the the python file is lambda function here inside that i have a functional con lambda handler so here is my lambda handler okay all i'm doing is essentially kinesis will send batch records to lambda and lambda is going to process that right so for each record right i decode the, the the data because kinesis encodes the data as a base64 string i decode that and i'm simply printing it you could do it opens up possibilities you could put it to dynamo db redshift fan out model again put it to a new sns do whatever you want right this is just the tip of the iceberg okay so this is assuming that we are processing these um, uh, lambda right so event uh, we are saying stream because this lambda is going to receive a stream data real time type as kinesis and the on i'm saying a function dot get arn and it's going to essentially create an on from my resource down here should be very easy right right so now essentially remember the magic word sls deploy when you say that this will deploy the stack and after deploying the stack in the us east one you will get something like this on the console uh, since i have already deployed there is no uh, need to redeploy that all right guys i have taken care of everything in the slab you don't have to do anything right so now i have a python file that will publish fake data so here uh, all you got to come and do is come to this lab 17 right click on the file and click on um, run this python file this will publish 10 records to your kinesis data stream okay so now you can see that the data has been published to my kinesis data stream and uh, to uh, just uh, you know uh, show you that it works i'm going to copy this name okay i'm heading over to my amazon management console right and here you can see i i have my stream which was created through serverless framework right 
Uh, you could monitor here, right? You could see, um, you know, all the details, right? So as you can see here, now what, um, again, this is the Lambda code that was been deployed by my uh, serverless framework. And now going to my CloudWatch so that I can show you that it did work. So I'm gonna refresh and I'm gonna go to the top log and I'll search for this name, Jennifer Booker, right? This is exactly the record that we published to Kinesis data stream. And I can prove it that, see the phone number also matches, right? So here now you have Kinesis data stream, Lambda as a consumer, you can easily fan out the Lambda has an ability to scale, right? You could scale automatically. My Kinesis data stream can scale automatically because I'm using an on-demand mode, right? I hope you have enjoyed these labs. The labs are very simple and it's meant for you. So the best way to learn is to download the lab and try it out. Take the code, try to just run it and see if it works, okay? This is gonna be lab 17 about Kinesis data stream. I have 16 other labs. If you wanna learn more about a serverless framework, I have all these amazing videos on serverless framework, which shows how to deploy glue, crawlers, Athena, uh, you know, so so, so 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 glue crawlers. Then how you can query the data using Athena. So all that stuff I have done using serverless framework, lambdas, event uh, event bridge, SNS SQS lambda, SQS lambda, all the various combination. I have it in my playlist. Please go check that out. And if you have any more questions, list your question in the comments, and I'll try my best to help you out. Again. I have a previous video where I have discussed the use case of Kinesis data stream, right? For real time uh, streaming application, right? So this is how you would create the resource using serverless framework and uh, the code is there. Please go and check that out. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the upcoming next video. That's gonna be lab number 18.